Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would come on and share my initial thoughts or my overall thoughts of the new NARS Narcissist Eye Palette that just came out last week. I have had this for almost a week now, four or five, five days. I've used it four times. So I'm ready to talk about my initial impressions. Uh, I thought I would start by talking about a little bit about the palette itself. Uh, it is in the typical, you know, rubberized plastic NARS packaging, although mine hasn't gotten all that dirty yet. There are 15 shadows in this palette. It's a total of 15 grams of product, so one gram per shadow, and it's $79. There is a look at the shadows. These are all existing NARS shadows. So there's no new colors in the palette. These are all existing NARS singles shadows. And my impressions of this are, and so I struggled a little bit to, tr to figure out whether I thought this was really bad or just okay. Um, so I don't own a lot of NARS singles. So I only have two to compare, but I am going to show you those and show you why I think what I think. So to just cut to the chase, I am returning my palette. It, I do not feel that the quality is there on these shadows, um, which is really, really too bad. I was very hopeful that these shadows would be really good quality because it would be a perfect palette. I mean, for travel or anything, you know, for travel it would be great because it's a, you know, it's a nice small palette. It's about the size of your hand. There are a combination of mattes and shimmers in here. There's dark colors, light colors. I mean, the color range is beautiful, but the quality is not there. I'm not going to swatch all of the colors for you. If you are, if you want to know all of the colors that are in the palette and see swatches of all of them, Temptalia did that on her blog. I'm not associated with that blog, but she swatched all of them and put the names of all of them. So if you're curious about how many of the shadows you already own and that kind of thing, you can just go to Temptalia.com. Uh, and take a look at it. But I thought I would, I own two of the colors that are in this palette in singles. So I thought I would show you the difference between what's in the palette and my singles shadows. And I can't do that for all of the colors, but you will see by just looking at these two, you can, it will probably help you make a decision. So the first one I'm going to swatch for you is this gray shimmering color here. And this is the color Bad Behavior, which I think just came out with the Guy Bourdain collection. I'm pretty sure that's when I bought it. So I'll swatch the one. Okay, so here is the one in the palette, which looks like a pretty shimmering silver color. And here is the single here. So see, it's a much deeper color than this one is, which that wouldn't bother me as much. I'm going to swatch them on my hand now. Now, I don't have a primer on my hand, but both of them are going to be swatched on unprimed skin. So there is the palette, and there is the single. Okay, so here's what's in the palette, and here's the single shadow. So you can see how patchy the palette shadow is, and how full colored the single is. I'll even try and build the palette for you. Because, you know, I thought, well, if you can layer them, and you can layer them, and it'll be better. But see, that is still not the same as what's in the single. And that's four swatches, and that's one swatch. So, you know, that right there made me think, well, maybe that's not so good. So then another one, and since that's fairly a new, a fairly new single, I thought I would uh, swatch also one of my other shadows that I have, and that's in the color Mekong, which is pretty much a cult favorite for NARS. And Mekong looks like this in the single. And it looks pretty similar in the palette. So I will swatch the palette, and I will swatch the single. So there's the palette, and there's the single. And they look fairly similar. There's a lot more dimension in the single. This is the single here. There's a lot more dimension in that one. And this one is just sort of like a dark brown. You kind of lose the luminosity of the shadow a little bit. And again, I'll swatch them on my hand. So here is the palette, and here is the single. Once again, this 
the palette is very patchy and you don't get the depth of color that you do in the single. And again, I'll try and layer it for you. This in the this color in the palette, when you layer it, it's much more of a see how it's just turning into like an ashy dark color and this one really has you know, sort of the gold deep brown with the gold in it. You can really see the dimension in that. So I'm sure it's very, if I owned more of the singles that are in this palette, I would experience a lot of the same things. I will swatch a few more colors for you. I can't remember what this one is called, this deep purple, um, but this is terrible. So when you swatch it, so that's a really heavy swatch. Um, but then when you put it on your hand, there's just nothing there. Like it just, it's really even hard to build that one. So that disappoints me. There, there are a couple of them that I really like. The first one is this soft shimmering color. I think this is pretty good and I've been wearing this, I am wearing this palette today. I've been wearing this on my lid. Um, I've also been wearing this on my lid and this this is uh, this is what's on my lid today. This is what's on my lid today, but I have a base under it. But it's a pretty color. Um, but again, all of the dark colors are not very good. Like the black is really, see the black is just barely black. So, I'm going to return it. I think for $79, it's $79, that I would rather return this and, you know, exchange it for, like, three, you could get three NARS singles for just a little bit less than the palette. So, I, you know, if I had to make a call at this point, I would not recommend the palette. I have, again, like I said, I've used it four days. Here's what I will say. The shadows are usable. They're not all that powdery in my opinion. Like they're very usable. But you really have to build them up to get any kind of depth of color. And you, you're, I don't believe you'll ever get the kind of depth of color that you will from a NARS single. So I am going to return the palette. I don't think it's worth the price. And that's my opinion on it. Which is too bad because like I said it's perfect for travel. It's a nice small palette with a great range of colors and I will say that I don't expect when I buy a palette of shadows for them to be as good necessarily as a company's single shadows I just think that that's unrealistic but I expect them to still be good and a I, many of these shadows I don't think are even that good so I'm going to return it so if you picked up the palette and feel differently or have had similar experiences, please feel free to share that in the comments below. I know everybody likes to read through and see what everybody's thinking on this. Um, I'm really disappointed. I wanted this to be such a great palette, but um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to pick up a few more NARS singles. So that's it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.